the viewers are got some stuff in my container again. Got me old faithful motor out. Uh, pump, dishwasher pump. Gonna uh, wire that up to the VFD. Gets a really good water flowing out of that one. Another dishwasher pump motor. This particular dishwasher had all the pump mechanism and the housing and impeller. It was all part of um, the bottom plastic floor of the dishwasher. Not like these ones. This is just bolted to the floor of the dishwasher. And the components are all on the shaft of this motor. It was just not a removable unit. The, the motor itself had to come out. You now it's on its own. Yeah, I sit left side down in the sun for a couple of years. But the writings are still good. A bit noisy. It's a Betts motor. So it's a GMF Betts. So it's an Australian made motor, this one. Nice and noisy and crunchy. Which is now Fasco. Fasco, of course, is now making their stuff in China. This one is from 1999. This is probably the 4th uh, or the 5th, 1999. Oh, yeah, same era. This could be Chinese made too. I know Fasco did cheap out and not making motors in Australia anymore. Basically, it's um, active, neutral. This wire goes to your capacitor to neutral. And that's your start the motor up with a capacitor. Basically, it's a capacitor start motor. Originally rated for 2740 RPM at 50 Hz. Of course, I'm going to use it as a, um, on a VFD. Now it's going to run at stupid speeds with those bad bearings. See how it sounds. It's going to sound really cool a bit. Let's see what it does. It's a good thing about capacitor to start uh, electric single phase motors that don't have a centrifugal switch. You can do this with them. Yeah, you've got to be careful with centrifugal switch motors because the clutch can explode to a million pieces if you rev them too hard. But these motors, there is no mechanism or nothing moving parts. Completely uh, capacitor to start. It's another good thing you can do. What frequency? Start at 100 hertz. Reverse. Oh yeah, this is it. Oh, she sounds good. Get faster. Slow it down. I won't say fast, say quick. Here we go. Let's start it again. Wrap it up. We go forward. Yeah, no, it doesn't know what to say. It depends on the drive. Some matters what we have to go fast. Alright, let's go to the end. I want to get back to the speed, damn it. Yeah, I'm into the wrong perimeter. Get that sweet spot. Yeah, there's a sweet spot in there. Let's go to uh, 300 hertz. Oh, she sounds really lovely. I don't think it needs a bit of oil in those bearings. The top one I can't get to, but the bottom one I can. Oh yeah. That sounds really nice. Let's try some smoking spray. I always keep these uh, reusable nozzles off empty aerosols. They're quite reusable. Mm -mm. Bit of air moving in there. Hit that sweet spot. 
we go. Hit the sweet spot. 100 hertz. 100 hertz is a sweet spot there. But damn, is she a crunchy grinding motor? Get some more of that in there. Oh, yeah. It likes that. Moving again, and to get this little uh, shield out and get to the bearing and behind that. That's just a splash shield, that's what that was. It went behind the impeller and the water seal. Oh, that doesn't come off. I'll get that off later with two screwdrivers. Well, there she sounds really lovely. Reminds me of that Fire Mac motor I um, sped up with its original bad bearings in it. Crunchy, crunchy. Anyway. Hmm. Where do I put those fan blades? Hey, hey, hey. That guard might fit on there somehow. Before I put those fan blades, you can see where this is going. Put the uh, shield off. Bearing is a bit quieter now. Let's slow it down a bit. That's normal main speed. 10 hertz. Got the best torque at that speed. Just bear in mind it's not earth. But if it does fault, it's going to kill me. So, yeah, don't always use an earth when you're doing experiments like that. Well, I know the motor passed a mega test. I did do a, um, a mega test on those motors to ensure that the, uh, the insulation's all in good nick. Well, there's uh, half of the fan there. But where did I put the blades to that fan? The most important part, I don't have. I've got the same thing with the shaft too. Where did I put the blade to that fan? Hmm. I didn't see it somewhere. I know I've got it, but it's gone because I need it. It's usually the case where you need something that's never here. Don't you hate that? Oh, there it is behind the vacuum cleaner. I knew I had it here somewhere. There it is. I'll adapt that on there and make it all another nice little fan project. And I won't feel, I don't feel too comfortable running those too fast. Sounds kind of interesting at 10 hertz. That shaft actually might be a bit thicker. That's thicker, definitely thicker. I don't know, if I do it like that, it might take off like a bloody drone. This thing's going to be like a drone if I put this on there. I'll make a drone out of this. No, it doesn't fit. That's alright, I can draw that out and uh, make it sit to there. Just put that little thing in the front of it. And that'll hold the blade assembly on. Let's try it. Let's see what it does. I'm running at 10 hertz. I ain't going to go much faster than that. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> nice and tight. I've got the Milwaukee jaw bit, the next same, just a uh, half millimetre smaller than that shaft and it's press fitted friction holding it on. I mean, I've trusty in Milwaukee jaw bit set in the uh, truck that fitted in there and uh, small job, it did, did the job. It's having a bit of air and deflecting my voice off the blades. Um, I have to make it with some sort of isolated environment for this before I go stupidly speeding it. Um, this is going to be quite uh, dangerous. I've got to make all the guards fit and make a little stand for it. This is going to be a nice fan though. I did reverse with a matter of a twing and then it twisted the wires off. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, so I don't know how fast those blades can handle the speed. If they go too fast, they're going to be uh, catastrophically failing. That's actually at 5 hertz. 6 hertz. There we go, 6 hertz. Not 10 hertz. It's alright, I'm having a bit of air, so. If I run this thing at 100 hertz, I've got to get a hell of a. Uh, run it on a very long cable to secure that motor. These fan blades are going to go flying. Who knows? I'm only going to get four of these, get another three of these, and make a drone. It'd be a nice drone. Got a bit of slide in it. Oh, fiction. Yeah, I'll twist the wires off. Yeah, yeah, so that was your slamming in early gear. Don't like that. Slamming into another gear, and the motor just takes off and twists and talks itself. Oh, it's a bit warm, but nothing to worry about. Oh, I'll get those blades off. I'm going to have to um, work on those bearings first to make that thing quiet. Oh boy, that's going to be an epic thing. I'll try this little pump. As I said, uh, it's a little 240 volts, 110 watts, regenerated, 50 hertz, one phase, 0.89 amp, 2850 RPM, MCR or CSNR, motor capacitor run, capacitor start and run. Use the capacitor to kick start the motor. And the matter runs while it has that capacitor, and that capacitor actually doubles as a power factor correction capacitor. Which is why a run cap essentially does, collects a power factor. Anyway, it's, uh, I've got to set to 100 hertz, see what happens. Oh, it's just quiet, blow some air. I'm going to block the other hose off, and just use that side outlet. Oh, that's not a bad little pump. That's quiet. That's a suction as the output. Nice little blower. Runs quite happily. Bit of crap in there. That's a happy little motor. I wonder how fast your pedal can go. Just put it like that. past 200. They'll just worry that plastic impeller is going to explode. I was a bit uh, cringy about that. So I'll pull this apart and we'll see what sort of impeller is in there. Better check these things because you don't want to um, be doing that and the impeller and plates goes <laughs> stabs you in the stomach. I've seen some nasty uh, pictures and videos of angle grinder blades exploding and killing people so you don't want that sort of thing to happen with this. Perhaps it's dissipated? Alright. Let's pull this apart and have a look at the uh, how it's assembled. I don't need that, don't need that, and that could be optional in the future if you want to put it, the outlet away from the motor and away from the terminal block, which would be a bad idea. I'm guessing it's a screw on impeller and it's on there tight. But you can see all the dust, that's for when I ran it just now. That dust. <laughs> so it's got one impeller there. Water gets pushed up, out this one. So the best one I can use is that front one, the most efficient one. And then the side one, actually the side one, because the water comes up there better, more efficiently. So I block this one here off, and block that little one off. So all I would need to do is just uh, plug up that one here, and don't use it. Use this one. Hmm, I have to try this. This would be a good, nice little water pump. This could have some potential. That went over here. There. It's a bit hard because the aluminium was oxidised a little bit. Couldn't get it off. Had to use the uh, rotary gun. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. It's a good bit of fun. Thanks for watching.